Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Purple Kyogre. If you don't know Purple Kyogre, you definitely should. He is a PvP content creator, does self arena content, go battle league content, um, basically daily uploads. So if you're looking for a lot of content, quality content, um, he's definitely going to be one. I'll include a link in his description as the title implies, presumably, that uh, this is covering his rank 10 run in Masters. So, as you can see in this set, he went down a little bit to 29.78, and his team consists of Best Bud, uh, Origin Form, Giratina, Malmetal, and Togekiss. So pretty pretty standard line. Uh, picks up, this is an okay lead, and then they switch out, in, they actually switch out into uh, Dialga. Uh, so, um, he's gonna look to throw this superpower uh, at some point in time, so he built up quite a bit of energy. And this, uh, he hits a superpower, it connects, uh, does quite a bit of damage to Dialga. Uh, we're gonna see what charge move this is gonna be. It's gonna be an Iron Head. If that was a Draco Meteor, it would've came pretty close to KOing, but uh, he called he called it out correctly. And another superpower is would KO. Uh, this is very interesting. And uh, he's gonna shield. And the second Iron Head connects, or it doesn't connect, it gets a shield. And the superpower would KO. And uh, okay, looks like this Dialga. Okay, that was super close to getting, getting off that superpower. That would have been a pretty game changing move there. Um, gonna go Togekiss into this, yeah, into this Dialga. And we're gonna see what's gonna come out. It's gonna be the Rhyperior. The Rhyperior can one shot with Rock Wrecker. Oh! No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is over. This is over. I don't care if it's best bud or your favorite bud. Yeah, he recognizes it's over. That's a GG. I'm going to go into the next next match. Um, that's certainly one of the hardest walls. A lot of people are carrying Dragon Balls to at least uh, prevent the farm down. Uh, because basically, if you, have, if you have double ghost charge moves, and then as well, uh, uh, Ghost Fast Move, which I don't know why you would have Dragon Tail, but yeah, as long as you have triple Ghost Moves, uh, Snorlax can basically just lick down and, and it's it's over. Okay, going up against K Mama. All right, uh, gonna go. So this is a favorable lead. Giratina into Malmetal, and gonna go into Malmetal into Dialga. This Dialga did build up quite a bit of energy. It is best bud, uh, so let's see what charge move is going to be. Oh, it's going to be a Draco Meteor. Did quite a bit of damage, but now it's two stage debuff. But these Dragon Breaths still add up, so you can't delay for too long. I'm uh, going to shield the first superpower. Here comes another superpower. This will not KO um, Dialga, and then let's see if Dialga is going to be able to farm down. Probably not, unless it commits another shield, which possible possible no it does not command another shield um because it would be down two shields to zero uh we're likely gonna see the giratina farm down and oh here comes oh yeah this is this is basically over um not gonna shield this is gonna be a shadow ball it does quite a bit of damage you're gonna switch out into malmetal yeah and this is over two shield to uh one advantage um, definitely going to be a rock slide and then here comes uh, shadow ball I believe yeah shadow ball no no need to bait just because like this matchup is is pretty much over um, as long as he saves one shield uh, for the togekiss uh, which he definitely will be able to then uh, it doesn't matter if this giratina farms down unless it like farms out from like full for example then and maybe it has like a little bit more play, but uh, unless like Purple Kyogre throws a charge move at like a one HP Malmetal, this is this is pretty much over. They're gonna switch out and with that shield, basically gonna be able to charm down. Uh, unless it gets a boost and survives like crazy. Let's see. No shield or a shield, and here comes the ancient power. Not gonna do very much damage with no boost. This is, this is pretty much over. With the boost, to be honest, it actually would have been really close, but um, it's not going to make a difference. And 
Oh, that's actually kind of close, to be honest. Like, if that if that guillotine actually undercharged a little more, because uh, the gear, opposing gear, his guillotine didn't have a charge move, so it was actually very very close. Um, obviously, the Malmetal is very low health, so it couldn't take that much charm damage. Um, and gonna go into the third game in this five game set, and we're gonna see. Adam Master or Adam Master? I don't know which one it is. Or a damn Aster? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I'm terrible at names. Okay, so uh, so his is best bud, so it's gonna win CMP. So very smart move on his part. Just gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball. Uh, see if he's gonna connect. Uh, let's see if his opponent decides to throw the Shadow Ball as well. Ominous wind bait. Oh man. Okay, it doesn't matter that he he has CMP unless he decides to bait as well. Um, let's see if this is gonna be another ominous win. Another ominous win. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, very behind in energy. Um, this this ominous win come close to KOing, but is gonna lose the race. Um, I don't know. Ominous win is the is nerf, but this should be. Oh, not enough to KO. Uh, and actually switch it to, into Dialga. Oh yeah, this is not good news at all. This Melmetal is going to be able to do a lot of damage. And this Dialga basically has the time to throw the charge move uh, after the superpower and before the second one. Uh, in order to... Oh no! Oh no! This is GG. This is... Uh, if it would have been able to connect, then probably would have been able to farm down. Here comes Togekiss. Togekiss is going to charm down. Going to go for the Shadow Ball. Um, even if it's a Malmetal in the back, this Togekiss... Uh, well, okay. It's actually a little bit close. Going to have to time this perfectly. Um, so very nice farm. And this Malmetal has energy or no energy? Has energy. Oh, he very smart move. Waited for it to throw the superpower, knowing that he can survive the superpower, and the opposing superpower is going to be the one that ultimately KOs. Very nice. Oh, actually, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, it's a good thing he had an energy advantage, or the opposing Melmetal didn't. He must have had an energy advantage. Okay. Well, okay. Well, either way, nice play. Wow, I'm shocked that they didn't uh, KO. But very quality play by Purple Kyogre. Again, check him out on uh, on YouTube. I'll include a link to his YouTube channel. Um, great content creator. I basically watch his content almost daily. And uh, yeah. I think he's probably already done his, his coverage of his rank 10 run. All right. And we're going to see Giratina into Dialga. So not a good lead at all. Gonna go into Malmetal, and we're gonna see Kyogre. But uh, here's the thing: like, um, depends on what's in the back, right? Like, this Tokus, as long as it has shields up, is gonna have a decent matchup. Um, gonna no shield this Surf, and another Rock Slide gonna connect, and they might be able to force a shield. He had quite a big, big energy advantage. Um, yeah, he's definitely gonna be able to. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to be able to force a shield. And this is very costly, unless he's not going to shield. He is going to shield, and then this is only going to be a surf. So this Dialga, this or origin form, uh, Giratina, doesn't need to shield at all. And these waterfalls are going to chip away, but now has energy. Here comes Dialga again, probably. And I'm gonna guess that there's origin in the back, and this is pretty much a GG. Togekiss is a definitely a really good mall breaker. I'm gonna switch out, and this is gonna to have to draw a shield, but it's gonna get charmed down. And there's definitely, there's almost certainly an origin form um, in the back. Oh, it's a Togekiss. Okay, never mind. Oh, Togekiss. Interesting. Uh, shield's gonna come up for sure. Oh, we got the boost. It's over. It's over. Actually, it would have been... Um, uh, no, this matchup would have been over anyways. So. 
this uh, origin form had too much health. Oh, they also get the boost. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's boost time. It's boost time. And this is over. GG. <laughs> I guess sweet justice there. Um, Purple Kyogre with a lot of Master League wins. I've played this trainer many times. Very quality trainer. So um, we're going to see. Oh, yeah. So this is a favorable matchup for Origin. It's still, these Earthquakes still do a lot of damage. But Swampert's so much squishier. Oh, going to go to Snorlax. Um, I don't know if I would switch trade to Snorlax. Um, it's basically waiting for it to throw. Going to double up on the Superpower. Superpower is not going to KO. Um, I don't even think. Yeah, two Superpowers. Should be enough. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Gonna body slam. No shield. Nice. No shield. Uh, this second superpower will come close to KOing. I don't think it would. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know what this Stormlock is doing. He's just standing there. Uh, I, I, I'm very doubtful this is gonna KO. And this Melmetal is gonna let it go. Uh, it's gonna be another body slam. Wow. Purple Kyogre, hard reading this trainer. Um, gonna no shield again. And then come in with Togekiss. Yeah, definitely come in with Togekiss. Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Purple Kyogre. Takes it out. Oh my gosh, not before taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's see. But it has a lot of energy now. Um, and here comes your uh, Dialga. Let's see. He decides to shield this Shadow Ball. Does decide to shield the Shadow Ball. Um, gonna go for a second Shadow Ball to chip away. That's exactly what he needs to do. But to be honest, two shield Togekiss, like this is a, this is a wrap, right? I actually would have saved the Iron Head. I would have came back in with Swamper and like looked to apply shield pressure. Cause like that definitely would have would have KO'd save it and just do as many Hydro Cannons as possible. Uh, it's unlikely you'll do enough to to uh, pressure this Tokius enough. And this Hydro Cannon's only going to do like less than half. Yeah, and this is uh, pretty much a wrap. Yeah, I would have came back in with Swampert. Um, mm, okay, yeah. So, like, I do think if the Swampert came in, and would have saved the Iron Head because for sure Diago wins the, um, yeah wins uh, wins the CMP tie, um, but GG very well played, very strong team, for some very quality play goes four and one in his last set on his way to to rank um, oh during the Merrill Day oh very nice, very very nice, and. Uh, Let's take it out, and we're gonna see one more Meryl. Not shiny. Guts the buddy boosted and to, into the excellent throw. Very nice, um, very well deserved catches, and then uh, on to rank ten, three thousand five. Congratulations, Purple Kyogre. Don't forget to check him out on YouTube. Uh, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.